Let's learn the alphabet today. Is that a letter hiding in there? That's the letter C. C is for car. Some letters are hiding in this cookie jar. Let's find them. Hmm. Oh, look, there are the letters. They're both green. This is the letter T. T is for tree. Put that right there. And now we have the letter U. U is for umbrella. There we go. What letter is this? It's the letter M. M is for moon. I think I see the letter X. Here it is. X is for xylophone. What are these soft and fuzzy rings? Oh, look, there are letters hiding. Let's see which one this is. It's the letter E. This one is green. E is for eggs. There it goes. Do you think there's another one hiding in there? I think I see one. Look, it's the letter N. N is for noodle. Let's put it on our ABC board. What letter is hiding in here now? It's the letter H. H is for house. I think there's a letter hiding on the other side of this couch. There it is. That's the letter V. V is for violin. Hey, that's the couch from Blue's Clues. Let's put the V on our V for violin. Do you see a letter hiding inside of our critter clinic? Let's open this one. I think I see one inside. This color's orange, so we need the orange key. Okay, let's put it in and turn. It's the letter R. R is for rabbit. And let's put it on our board. I think I see another letter in there. Let's close that one. It's inside of the blue cage. Let's see, turn. It's the letter G. Let's bring that out. G is for glasses. And there it goes, right before the letter H. Who's that? It's the number four block, and he's driving in the letter D. The letter D is green, and so is number four. D is for duck. There it goes, right in between C and E. C, D, E. Do you hear something inside? I think it's another letter. This is green. That's the number five. Let's see what letter is inside. Oh, wow, it's the letter L. L is for lemon. And it goes right here before the letter M. L, M, N. I think there's a letter hiding in our fishbowl. Let's see which one it is. Well, here's our orange fish with the number five. Put him back in the bowl. He needs to have his water. Oh, look, it's the letter B. This one is orange also. B is for bird. There it goes. Hey, I think that kitty cat is bringing us another letter. It's the letter W. This one is blue. W is for whale. Here we go. It goes in between V and X. I think I see another letter hiding behind all the blocks. Let's find it. Yes, there it is. It's the letter O. O is for onion. I think there's a letter hiding inside of the school. Should we open it up and see what's inside? Hey, it's the letter S. S is for school and it's for sun. It goes right there in between R and T. R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Hey, we need to look for the Y. I think I know where the Y is. Let's check inside this blue barn. Here we go. Well, there it is. That's the letter Y. It's red. Y is for yo-yo. Let's put it right there. Oh, is there something else hiding in here? Yes, it's a duck. Quack, quack, quack. And it's swimming in the water. Look at all of these shapes. I wonder if there are some alphabet letters in there. Let's find out. Hmm, let's dump them out. I think I see some. 
why don't we put away the shapes while we look for our alphabet letters? Okay, well this one is a star, and that's the number five. Let's put it in our star shape. Here's a heart, and that's the number two. There it goes. Oh, look, another heart. Okay, here's a circle, and that's the number one. It goes in the circle shape. Here's another star with the number five. This one is orange. Star shape. Here's a triangle with the number three, and it goes in the triangle shape. Here's a square, and that's the number four. Goes in the square shape. And we're left with our letters. First of all, this is the letter K. K is for kite. This one is yellow. And here's the letter P. This is pink. P is for pink and pig. There we go. Choo choo. Here comes Mavis. Oh no, the Z fell off. That's the letter Z. Z is for zebra. This one is orange. Let's put it at the end of our alphabet and say, bye Mavis. Choo choo. I think there are letters hiding inside of the ice cream cones. Let's open them up and find out. This is a big letter I and little letter I. Let's open it up. Hmm. Oh look, it's a big letter I. This one is red. I is for ice cream. And I think we can guess what's inside the Q ice cream. That's a big Q and a little Q. Oh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's a letter Q. This one is red. Q is for queen. We're almost done putting our alphabet together. Oh, look, it's Marshall from Paw Patrol. He's bringing us a letter. What letter is that? It's the letter J. J is for Jeep. This one is orange. <laughs> oh, look at all of the alphabet mess. We have all of these alphabet popsicles and a couple of letters. Can you help me find the letters? Well, I see one right here. This is the letter F. F is for fish. Here we go, put it on our alphabet board. Now we just need our last alphabet letter. Do you see the letter A? I do, yes, it's right here. This one is red. A is for apple. Here we go, let's put it on the board. Oh wow, now our board is complete and we can say the alphabet. Will you say it with me? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great job! This popsicle is red, and that's the letter A. A is for apple. Can you say A is for apple? Great job. Let's put that there and let's see what letter we have next. This popsicle is purple, and that's the letter B. B is for butterfly. This one is orange, and that's the letter C. C is for cat. Now this one is pink, and that's the letter D. D is for donut. I love donuts. Now we have a popsicle that's blue, and that's the letter E. E is for elephant. This one is orange, and that's the letter F. F is for fish. Here we have a popsicle that's brown. Maybe it's a chocolate flavored popsicle. That's the letter G. G is for guitar. 
and play a guitar to listen to music. Let's see which ones we have so far. A for apple, B for butterfly, C for cat, D for donut, E for elephant, F for fish, and G for guitar. Well, now we have another popsicle that's red. Do you know how to say red in Spanish? Right, it's rojo. Rojo, that's the letter H. H is for horse. And here is the letter I. This one is blue. Do you know how to say blue in Spanish? It's azul. Azul. I is for igloo. You make an igloo out of ice cubes and it's really cold. This is the letter J. But this popsicle is purple. Purple in Spanish is morado. Morado. I wonder what J stands for. Jellyfish, that's right. Here we have the letter K. And this popsicle is green. Green in Spanish is verde. Verde. K is for kite. I love flying kites. When you go outside on a windy day and see how high it can fly. This popsicle is pink. And that's the letter L. Do you know how to say pink in Spanish? Right, it's rosado. Rosado. L is for lamp. You can turn on a lamp at night if it's dark. Do you remember how to say blue in Spanish? Azul, right. That's the letter M. M is for moon. The moon comes out at night and shines with the stars. This one was brown. Brown in Spanish is café. That's the letter N. N is for nest. M and N sound really similar, but they're different. This popsicle is purple. Morado. O is for octopus. Octopus lives in the ocean with the jellyfish and with our fish. Here is our orange popsicle. Orange in Spanish is a really long word, but we can say it together. It's anaranjado. Anaranjado. Good job. P is for pineapple. I love to eat pineapples. They're very sweet. Here, this popsicle is green. Verde in Spanish. And that's a Q. Q is for question. Let's see what we have next. Oh, we have the letter R. And this popsicle is red. Red in Spanish was rojo. Rojo. R is for robots. Okay, let's see where we're at so far. A was for apple. Can you say these with me? B for butterfly. C for cat. D for donut. E for elephant. F for fish. G for guitar, H for horse, I for igloo, J for jellyfish, K is for kite, L for lamp, M is for moon, N is for nest, O is for octopus, B is for pineapple, Q is for question, and R is for robot. I wonder what S is for. Well, this one is orange. That was that really long word in Spanish. Anaranjado. S is for sun. Sun comes out during the day and leaves lots of light for us. This popsicle is green. Verde in Spanish. And that's a T. T is for turtle. Ooh, turtles can go on land or swim in water sometimes. This popsicle is blue, azul, and the letter U is for umbrella. That's for when it rains or if it's really sunny outside and you need some shade. This popsicle is red, rojo. V is for volcano. Have you ever seen a volcano erupt? I haven't. This popsicle is pink. In Spanish, that was rosado. That's a W. The W is for watermelon. I love to eat watermelon on a hot sunny day. This 
obstacle is brown. That's café. Café. And that's an X. X is for X-ray. And now we're down to our last two letters. This Y is purple, morado in Spanish. And Y is for yo-yo. Here we have our last popsicle. This one is brown, café, and that's the letter Z. Z is for zebra. Look at all of our alphabet letters. Do you remember which letter of the alphabet goes with each popsicle? Can you say them with me? Thanks. A is for apple. B is for butterfly. C is for cat. D is for donut. E is for elephant. F is for fish. G is for guitar. H, horse. I, igloo. J, jellyfish. K, kite. L, lamp. M, moon. N, nest. O, octopus. P, pineapple. Q, question. R, robot. S, sun. T, turtle. U, umbrella. V, volcano. W, watermelon. X, x-ray. Y, yo-yo. Z, zebra. Great job! Oh no! All of my alphabet popsicles got mixed up. Can you help me match the right popsicle with the right color and letter? Thanks! Let's start with the letter A. Do you remember what the letter A was for? It was for apple, right? Do you see an A for apple? It's over here in the corner. A is for apple. Good job. Now, let's look for B. Here's our B. It's purple. Do you remember what B stands for? That's right, it was the butterfly. Do you see the butterfly here? Yes, it's right here. B is for butterfly. And that one's purple. Now, why don't we go with our next letter, C. Do you remember what C stands for? Yes, it stands for cat. Do you see the cat on here? It's right here, and it's orange. C is for cat. Next, we need to find the letter D. Do you see the letter D? Can you point to it? Yes, it's right here. This one was pink. And the letter D stood for donut. It's up here, I found it. D is for donut. Hmm, what letter comes next? What comes after D? Let's see, A, E, C, D, E. We're looking for the letter E. Well, here's my color blue and that's the letter E. E stands for elephant, that's right, here it is. E is for elephant. Next is the letter F. Where's the letter F? Oh, it's up here in the corner, it was hiding. F was for fish, right. Do you see the fish? I see it. It was up here. And this one was orange. Next is the letter G. G, let's see. Do you see the letter G? Over here. This one was brown. But what does G stand for? Guitar, right. You got it. G is for guitar. Now we need to look for the letter H. Do you remember what the H looks like? Hmm, I found it. The letter H. H stands for horse. Great job. Now we need to look for the letter I. Hmm, ah, here it is, the letter I. And the letter I stands for igloo. Where's the igloo? Oh, it's way over here. I is for igloo. Now let's look for the letter J. Hmm, ah, here it is. This is the purple letter J. J stands for jellyfish. Where's the jellyfish? Over here, we found it. Let's line up our letters. Why don't we make sure we have everything that we need? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Next is the letter K. Here it is. That's the letter K and it's green. K stands for kite. Where's the kite? Over here and it's green also. K is for kite. Now we're looking for the letter L. That comes after K. Oh, it's pink. I love the color pink. What does L stand for? Lamp, right. Here it is. L is for lamp. Now let's look for the letter M. Mm, here it is. M stood for moon. Can you point to the moon? Do you see it? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. That's M for moon. And that one's blue. Now we need the letter N. Do you remember it sounded and looked like the letter M? But it's not. See, here it is. The letter N, this one was brown, and it's for nest. Now we're looking for the letter O. Let's line up all of our popsicles. Do you see the letter O? Oh, here it is. That's the letter O. And O was for octopus. Where's the octopus? I found it. O is for octopus. Now let's look for the letter P. Here it is, the letter P. P was for pineapple. Can you point to the pineapple? Up here. P is pineapple. Now we're looking for the letter Q. Where's the letter Q? Up here, and it's green. Q was for question. Do you see where the question mark is? Over here, this one was green also. Q, question. Now we're looking for the letter R. This one was red. <laughs> red also starts with R. But red is for robot. Here it is, we found the match. Let's look for the letter S. Hmm, right here. This S was orange, and the sun was orange also. Here it is, S is for sun. Let's look for the letter T. T, -t can you make the T sound? Here, T. T was for turtle. Oh, here's the turtle, and this one was green. Okay, we're almost done. Let's check our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. U is the next letter. Here it is. This one was blue, and we're looking for the umbrella. Umbrella starts with a U. You found it. Now let's look for the letter V. V was for volcano. Yep, here it is. V, and here's the volcano. That one was red. Now let's look for the W. We're almost done. Line them up, here we go. Here's the W. W was for watermelon. Can you point to the watermelon? Yep, here it is, watermelon. Now let's find the X. Yep, this one was brown. X is for X-ray. You're doing great. We're almost done. Let's look for the Y. Well, we only have a couple left. Here's our yo-yo, and here's the Y. Y is for yo-yo. And our last one, of course, is our Z for zebra. Great job today. I'm proud of you. Look at all of these cookies. Wow, that looks like a lot of chocolate chips. Will you help me count them? And then we can put them in the cookie jar. Thanks. Why don't we start with the number one? Which one of these cookies has one chocolate chip? I think I see it. Here it is. Let's count the chocolate chip. One. And let's turn it over and make sure we got it right. You did. That's the number one. Okay, let's set it right there. What comes after the number one? 
The number two, right. Which one of these cookies has only two chocolate chips? Do you see it? I see it over here. Two chocolate chips. Okay, help me count. One, two. And we turn it over. Yes, that's the number two. It goes after the number one. What comes after the number two? It's the number three. Where do you see a cookie with only three chocolate chips? Is it this one? No, it's this one. Let's count the chocolate chips and be sure. One, two, three. That kind of looks like a smiley face. Here we go. Yes, that's the number three. Let's put it in order. Here we have one, two, three. What comes after the number three? It's the number four. Which one of these cookies has only four chocolate chips? Let's try this one. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's it. Let's turn it over. That's the number four. Put it here after the number three. What comes after the number four? I think it's the number five. Do you see five chocolate chips in one cookie? I think this is it. Why don't you count with me? Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five. You did it. Here we go. That's number five. Put it here after number four. Why don't you count with me? Let's make sure we're on track. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after the number five? It's six. Which one of these chocolate chip cookies has six chocolate chips? Why don't we try this one? Okay, are you ready to count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's the right one. And that is the number six. Put it here after the number five. After the number six is seven. Why don't we try counting? Let's count this one. See how many chocolate chips we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh, that doesn't have seven chocolate chips. That has eight. Let's try another one. Hmm, how about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, this is it. It's the cookie number seven. And put it right here after number six. Now we have to put the number eight down. I think it was this one. Remember, this one had eight chocolate chips. Let's turn it over. Yes, that's the right one, the number eight. Okay, let's count here one more time and make sure we've got it right. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is next. Which one of these cookies has nine chocolate chips? Why don't we count this one and find out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, this is it. It's the number nine. Put it here after the number eight, which leaves the number 10. But let's make sure, and we always have fun counting anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is it. This is the number 10 cookie. Let's put it right here. And now we can count all of our cookies. Hey, maybe we should put them in the cookie jar. Here we go. Let's start with number one. Count with me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Whoops, <laughs> it rolled away. Eight. Nine. And ten. Great job.
Look at all of the colorful fruit on this tree. Will you help me pick them and then put them in the right color box? Thanks. Why don't we count them first and see how many we have? Let's start with the red fruit. One, two, three on the tree. What about down here? A few have fallen off. So we have three up here, four, five, and six. We're gonna pick six red fruit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You did it. That's the color red, and there are six fruit. Red in Spanish is rojo. Why don't we choose the yellow fruit now? Will you help me count them first? Okay, let's see. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, there are six fruit that are yellow also. Let's count them and put them in the box. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yellow in Spanish is amarillo. Now, let's choose the green fruit. Help me count, you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six green fruit. Let's pluck them and put them in the box. One, count with me. Two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, what are these at the bottom of the tree? Those look like mushrooms. Let's count those and see which box they're gonna go in also. Well, this mushroom is yellow. Hey, it has dots on the top. Will you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dots, and that's yellow, amarillo. Let's put it here in the yellow box and turn the tree. Hey, this one is red, rojo in Spanish. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has seven dots. Put it here in our red box and keep turning our tree for more mushrooms. Here we go. Here's a yellow one. Hey, no dots. That's okay. We'll put it in the yellow box. Amarillo. Here's a green mushroom. Let's count those dots. One, two, three, four. Four dots. Put it in the green box. And now another red one. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's red, rojo. Oh, here's our last mushroom. Here we go, get it out from underneath there. It looks like this one has stripes. Let's count the stripes. One, two, and it's green, verde. There we go. Oh, thanks for helping me. I think we have one more game to play. Oh no, all of my fruit fell out. It's all over the place. Will you help me put it all back together on the tree in the right color spot? <laughs> Thanks, I really need your help. Here we go, let's gather them up. Okay, why don't we start with this color? Do you remember what color this is? It's red, right? Rojo in Spanish. Point to the red fruit. Here we go, here's one. And here's another one, two. And here's one, three. This one is red also, rojo. Okay, well, we have more red things here. Oh, it's a mushroom. Let's put that here. And here's another mushroom. This one's a little bigger. I think it goes back here. There we go. Now, will you help me pick the yellow fruit and put it on the tree? Thanks. Uh, here's our first one and point to the yellow spot for me. Yes, it's right here. One. And here's another one. Where should I put it on the tree? How about over here? Two. And 
let's choose another fruit. This one is small and round. Remember, this is yellow. Amarillo in Spanish. Let's put it right there. But we still have some yellow fruit and some mushrooms. Why don't we put this yellow mushroom where it's supposed to go? Right here at the bottom of the tree. And here's another yellow mushroom. This one had dots on it. Where should it go on the tree? Will it fit here? No. I wonder, let's turn the tree. I wonder if it fits here. Yes, it does. Okay, now why don't we select the green fruit to put on the tree? Okay, which one is green? Yep, it's right here. That looks like a pear or an avocado. And that's number one. How about another one? Two. That's another one that's green. Two. Let's do one more. And three. Put it there on the tree. Yes, it's great. Oh, wait a minute. We still have some green mushrooms. Here's one green mushroom, the one with the stripes. Does it fit in there? Yes, it does. And here's another green mushroom. Where does it fit? Here's an empty spot. No, it doesn't fit. Maybe this one will go over here. Yes, it does, that fits. And this one goes right here. But we still have some fruit left over. Maybe we should clean it up and put it back in the box. Okay, will you help me? Here we go, count with me. One, it goes in the green box, verde. Two, and three. Now let's choose the red ones. Here's a red one. Where do I put it? Do I put it in here? <laughs> no, that's the yellow box. This is the red box. Rojo. One, two, and three. And what are we left with? Our yellow fruit. Here we go. Let's put it in the yellow box. Remember how to say yellow in Spanish? Amarillo. Does it go in here? <laughs> nope, that's the green box. What about here? No, that's red. It goes in the middle with the yellow, amarillo. One, two, and here's our other one, three. We did it! We cleaned up all of the fruit and we put the tree back together. And we learned some colors and numbers today. Good job! Elmo walks to the supermarket. He wants to find his friends. He wants to play at the park with his friends. He knocks on the supermarket door. And guess who's inside? It's Big Bird. Big Bird says, hello. He walks outside of the supermarket and he wants to play at the park too. They run over to the schoolhouse. Oscar the Grouch is still in school. They ring the doorbell, and the school door opens. They see Oscar the Grouch. Oscar hops out of the school, and he says, hello. Big Bird walks over and says, hello. Now, they need to find their other friends. They ask, where is Cookie Monster? Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch and Elmo run to the pizza parlor. They want to find their friend, Cookie Monster. Big Bird knocks on the door. The door opens. Cookie Monster says, hello. He hops to his friends because he's so happy to see them. But where's Abby? We should walk to her apartment. They walk to her apartment. Oscar the Grouch hops and Big Bird runs. They're here. Big Bird rings the doorbell and the door opens. There's Abby. Abby walks down the steps. She's so happy she's laughing. She says, let's walk to the park. 
Elmo says, I want to drive to the park. He hops in his car and he drives away. Abby says, I want to fly to the park in my helicopter. She skips to her helicopter, hops in, and then she flies away. Big Bird says, I want to ride to the park in my truck. Big Bird runs to his truck, hops in, and rides away. Cookie Monster and Oscar the Grouch will walk to the park. Let's go! Let's play hide and seek, says Elmo. Good idea, says Abby. Abby hides behind the tree. Big Bird walks to the tree and hides with Abby. Elmo says, I'll count to ten, then I'll find you. Cookie Monster says, where should I hide? I'll hide behind this tree. He runs to the tree and hides. Where should Oscar the Grouch hide? How about behind this tree? Good idea. He slides over to this tree and hides. Ready or not, here I come. Elmo looks for his friends. He looks behind the first tree. He finds Abby, Abby, and Big Bird. I found you. Now, he walks over to the other tree and looks around and finds Cookie Monster. I found you, Cookie Monster. He still needs to find his other friend, Oscar the Grouch. Do you remember where he's hiding? Yes, behind this tree. I found you. Yes, you found me. Big Bird and Abby want to play hide and seek. Okay, says Elmo. Let's play. I'll count to ten while you hide. Elmo walks over, turns to the fence, and starts to count. Abby runs to the tree and hides. Big Bird walks to the other tree and hides also. Oscar the Grouch says, where should I hide? He sees the other tree and slides over to hide behind the other tree. What about me, says Cookie Monster? Where can I hide? With me, says Abby. He runs over to Abby and hides behind her tree. Elmo counted to ten and now he's ready to find his friends. He walks over to the first tree and says, I see you. And there he sees Abby and he sees Cookie Monster. I found you. You found me. And you found me. Now let's walk over to find Big Bird. He walks to find Big Bird and he sees him behind the tree. Hi, Big Bird. Hi, Elmo. Where should we look for Oscar the Grouch? Let's hop over to the other tree and look behind the tree. There he is. You found me. I found all of my friends. I want to play on the seesaw, says Big Bird. He walks to the seesaw and jumps on. Elmo says, I will play with you. He walks to the other side and hops on. And then they play. The seesaw is fun. When Elmo is done, he hops off. Big Bird hops off too and walks to her other friends. I want to ride on the Ferris wheel. Big Bird walks over and jumps onto the Ferris wheel. Cookie Monster says, I want to play on the Ferris wheel also. He walks over and jumps on. Let's walk to the zoo and look at all of the animals. Elmo walks to the zoo. Cookie Monster hops to the zoo. Big Bird runs to the zoo. 
Oscar the Grouch slides to the zoo. And Abby skips to the zoo. They all wait in line to get to the zoo. They watch all the animals. This is a giraffe. The giraffe walks really slow because it's so tall. The gorilla plays on all of the rocks. The tiger runs really fast. Elmo laughs at the tiger. He loves to see the tiger. Now he pets the tiger. Cookie Monster laughs also. He's having so much fun. He wants to pet the giraffe. Cookie Monster pets the giraffe. Big Bird wants to play with the gorilla. The gorilla runs over and Big Bird can play with him now. Hi, gorilla. Oscar the Grouch says, I'm hungry, I want to eat. Let's walk to the pizza store. Elmo and his friends run to the pizza store. They are hungry. Elmo sits down at the table and Cookie Mon Monster sits at the other table. Elmo eats the pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Cookie Monster says, I'm thirsty. He drinks some water. Big Bird says, I'm hungry too. He eats the pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Abby walks over and says, I don't feel good. I need to go to the hospital. Luckily, they're right next door to a hospital. Abby opens the door to the hospital and walks through the door. She meets the doctor and says, Doctor, I don't feel very good. She lays down on the bed. The doctor says, you'll be okay. Let's check you out. She checks Abby's heart and her eyes. And then she picks up a special tool to test her stomach. She says, I think you have a tummy ache from eating too much pizza. Abby jumps off the table and says, Thank you, doctor. I feel better already. Which one of these homes should Elmo live in? Should he live in the red one, orange, green, blue, or purple? He should live in the red one, of course, because he's red too. Here's Elmo. Let's bring up his house and let's see what's inside. First, that's the number one. That's pretty easy to count, one dot. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. Hey, I don't think that's just one dinosaur. That's more than one. Let's count them together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, and five. We have five red dinosaurs. Well, this house only has one on it, so we should only put one dinosaur in, one. And now Elmo can go live there. Let's put him right there. Thanks, Elmo. What about Big Bird? Which home should Big Bird live in? Well, this house is orange, just like his feet. So he should live in this one. Let's bring it forward. Can you help me count the dots and see what number's on this house? <laughs> Thanks. One, two. That's the house number two. And it's orange, just like Big Bird's feet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, wow, it's more dinosaurs. But these look like way more than two dinosaurs. Why don't you help me count them? They're yellow and orange, just like Big Bird. One, two, let's get all the yellow ones first. Three, four, and five. Five yellow dinosaurs. Now how about the orange ones? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, five orange and five yellow. 
Together, that makes 10, 10 dinosaurs. Well, we only need two for this house, so why don't we do one yellow dinosaur and one orange dinosaur? That equals two. Now Big Bird can live in his house. Good job, Big Bird. Which house should Oscar the Grouch live in? Do you think the green one, blue, or purple? <laughs> You're right, the green one, because Oscar is green also. Let's count the dots. One, two, three. This house has three dots. Let's open it up. Yep, there's more dinosaurs inside. That looks like a lot more than three. Help me count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six green dinosaurs. Wow, that's a lot. Well, we only need three to go in the house so that Oscar can live there. So let's count to three for the house. One, two, and three. Now Oscar can go live inside. Okay, there you go, Oscar. We're down to two more houses. I'll bet you know which one Cookie Monster wants to live in. The blue one, right? Because it's blue just like Cookie Monster. Let's count the dots. Let's have Cookie Monster help with this one. One, two, three, four. This house is number four. I wonder how many dinosaurs are inside. Wow, a lot more than four. Okay, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dinosaurs. Well, we only need four for this one, so help me count to four. One, two, three, and four. Now Cookie Monster can live in his house, his blue house. And last but not least is Abby. Her hair is purple, so the number five purple house will be hers. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five house. Open it up. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's very many dinosaurs. Abby can help us count. Okay, Abby, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we need one more to get to five. Here comes one more pterodactyl flying in. Now we have five. Help me count them to put them in the house. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job, Abby. Now everybody has their home. Let's look at those colors one more time. Purple, blue, green, orange, red. In Spanish, that's rojo, anaranjado, verde, azul, morado. Great job. Let's also count them now together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what that is in Spanish? Let's do it together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. You're so smart. Elmo wants to go swimming. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? Well, of course he's going to want to swim in the red one. Just like Elmo, he's red. But who's this? It's a new friend, Mr. Crab. If Elmo wants to swim in Mr. Crab's fish bowl, he needs to help him count to four. Those are all the bubbles on his, on his bowl. Here we go. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now Mr. Crab will let Elmo swim in his fish bowl. There he goes. <laughs> He's having fun in the pool. What about Oscar the Grouch? I think he wants to go swimming also. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? The green one, right? Let's count the bubbles on the fish bowl for the seahorse and maybe he'll let, let Oscar swim in his fish bowl. Here we go, let's count. One, two, two bubbles. And here goes the seahorse. And here goes Oscar the Grouch swimming. Good job, Oscar. What about Cookie Monster? Which one of these fish bowls should Cookie Monster swim in? 
Yes, the first one. Uh-oh. Here's Mr. Shark. He's blue, just like Cookie Monster. And here's his bowl. If Cookie Monster wants to swim in the shark's bowl, he has to count the bubbles. Let's help him count. One. <laughs> that was easy. There was only one bubble. Here we go. There goes the shark. One. And here, Cookie Monster can swim. Who's next? How about Abby? Abby has purple hair. Which one of these fish bowls should Abby swim in? Yes, the purple one. That's the octopus. And there's the fish bowl. But to get in the fish bowl, we have to help her count the bubbles. Here we go. One, two, three. Three bubbles. Now the octopus can go swimming. And so can Abby. Good job, Abby. And our last one, of course, is Big Bird. Which one of these should Big Bird swim in? Right here. This is our orange fish bowl. And here's our orange fish number five. To get number five fish back into his bowl, we need to count the bubbles. Help me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And here goes the fish. And here goes Big Bird. Let's look at the colors again. Say them with me. Blue, green, purple, red, orange. Now let's do it in Spanish. Azul, verde, morado, rojo, anaranjado. Good job. Will you count them with me now? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great job. The Sesame Street friends say they all want to go swimming together, not in separate fish bowls. So they need to go swimming in this giant bucket of popsicles. Here comes Big Bird jumping in. And now Elmo. And Abby. They're all swimming. And now Oscar the Grouch. And now Cookie Monster. It looks like they're having fun. But what is that on there? It looks like it's letters of the alphabet. Hey, maybe Sesame Street friends can help us put the alphabet together. That's a great idea. Why don't we start with Elmo? Elmo, will you help us find all of the red popsicles? Yes? Great. Let's put Elmo right there. And let's find all of the red popsicles. Here's one. That's the letter V. The letter R, the letter A, I think I see one more, the letter H. Okay, let's put those there. Who should we look at next? How about Big Bird? Big Bird is yellow, so let's find all of the yellow popsicles. Wait a minute, I don't see any yellow popsicles. What about orange? Big Bird's feet are orange. Okay. Let's look for the orange popsicles. Here's one. That's the letter C. And here's another orange one, the letter F. Uh-oh, <laughs> Oscar's standing on one. Here's another one, the letter S. And here, the letter P. Okay. How about Abby? Let's look at your alphabet popsicles next. Okay. Let's look for the purple and pink ones because Abby is purple and pink. Okay, there's the letter D and W, B, J, L. Can you point to one if you see it and I might miss it? Y, O, do you see any other pink and purple popsicles? Nope, me neither. How about Oscar the Grouch? Hey Oscar, what's your favorite color? Green, right? Okay Oscar, help me find all of the green popsicles. Here we go, that's the letter K, the letter T, 
and the letter Q. Did I get them all? Yep. Okay. Now it's Cookie Monster's turn. He's blue, so let's look for all of the blue letters. Here we go. The letter I, the letter M, the letter E, and the letter U. Look at all of these letters we have. Now we just have a few letters left over. These are brown. Let's pull them out and let's put our alphabet together. The letter X, the letter Z, the letter N, and the letter G. Wow, this is a lot of letters. Okay, we need to put them all in order now. Okay, which one do we start with? The letter A, right. It's right here. A. Let's move all of these down here and let's line them up. A. Do you see where B is? Hmm. I think I... Oh, right here. B. And here's the letter C. And D. What about E? E is next. Yes, down here it's blue, just like Cookie Monster. E. Now we need the letter F. Hmm. Do you see it? Oh, yes, right here. It's orange. F. And now the letter G. Here it's brown. G. H. I. J. It's over here and it's green. K. Let's put it underneath here. L. Hmm. M. Now we need N. And next is O. How about the letter P? It's over here. P. And now we need the letter Q. R, S, we're almost done, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Our Sesame Street characters help us do the whole alphabet. Let's put Elmo up here. And Big Bird right here. And Abby, how about Abby right there? And Cookie Monster right here. Because they helped us with the alphabet. And how about Oscar the Grouch? Just put him over here. Great job, guys. Thanks for your help. Elmo is going to help me count to 10. Let's start with the number one. He's pushing the number one box, and there it goes. Whew, that was tough. Let's look for the number two. Mmm, here it is. Okay, he pushes it into place. Right here, number two. Next, we have the number three. Can you help Elmo push it into place? There we go. One, two, three. Now we need the number four. Oh, here it is. Here we go, push it up. And let's put it into place right there. That's number four. And do you see number five? Oh, it's back here. Here we go. Number five, right there. That one's green. Let's go for number six now. And let's see here, let's bring them all over. Do you see where number six is? Yep, it's back here. Here we go, push it over here. Good job. And now let's look for number seven. Oh, it's right there. Push up number seven. And here's number eight. And here's number nine. What's next? I think we all know what's next. It's number 10. Make sure it gets in line here. 
There we go. Okay, will you help Elmo count from the beginning? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job! Now Big Bird wants to count to five. Will you help him put all of the barns in order? Thanks. Okay, let's find number one. It's right here. Okay, Big Bird, you got it. Put it here in place. You're doing great. And now let's look for number two. Oh, it's over here. It's the orange barn. Okay, Big Bird, keep pushing. Good job, number two. And where's number three? Right back here. You got it, Big Bird. There we go. One, two, three. Now what's next? It's number four. Let's come over here and push number four into place. That one's blue. And back here we have number five. Our last one, but not least, number five. Okay, are you ready to help me count to five? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five, yay! Great job! Thank you for helping me count. The cars are all messed up, and Cookie Monster wants to put them in order. One to five. Okay, help us find car number one. Hmm, I think this is it. Okay, Cookie Monster, push it over here to space number one, because it's car number one. Let's look for car number two. Let's see, do you see it, Cookie Monster? Hey, that's right here, that's car number two. Okay, Cookie Monster, push it into place. Great job. Now what about car number three? Where is it? It's right there. That's the number three car. Let's bring it over here. Here we go. We're at one, two, three so far. And where's number four? Right. Okay, Cookie Monster, push it into place. There we go. And now, uh-oh, he's a little too far forward. What about number five? Number five number block, and he's blue, just like me. So let's go ahead and push him into place. There we go. And will you help me count from the beginning? Okay, we got this. One, two, three, four, and five. Will you help me look at the colors now? Okay, let's do the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, just like you, Cookie Monster. Oscar the Grouch wants to count to 10. And look at all the pretty ladybugs. Looks like they're lost. Will you help them find their home with Oscar? Thanks. Oscar, we need to look for number one first. Okay, do you see a ladybug with only one dot on its back? I think it's right there. Okay, that's one dot. We did it. And it goes there in the purple spot. Now we need number two. Let's see, oh, here it is. Count the dots with me. One, two. We did it, that's the number two. And that's the color orange. Now we need to look for the number three. Do you see, oh, <laughs> that one was easy. It's right there. Okay, one, two, three. We did it again. Where does it go on the board? Right here. Okay, Oscar, what's the next number we have to look for? It's the number four. Okay, then let's look for a ladybug with only four dots on its back. Here it is. This one is like a light green. Let's count the dots. Will you help me? One, two, three, four. There we go. It's the number four. And that one goes right there. Next is the number five. Let's see here. Which one of these has five? Oh, I think this one does. Let's count together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five. Good job, Oscar. And that one goes right there. It's a pretty color pink. Oscar, which one do we look for next? The number six, right. Which one is the number six? Let's count this one. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. You did it again. That's the number six and it goes right there. Next is the number seven. I think 
Nope, it's not that one. Is it that one? No. Let's count that one. It's the pink one, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, <laughs> seven. That goes here, it's pink. After the number seven is the number eight. Let's find the number eight. And I think it's here. Count, let's see here. Uh-oh, don't go anywhere, Oscar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it, and it's yellow. So the yellow one goes right here. Oh, don't forget to look at the number. There it is. Next is the number nine. Let's try the purple one. Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's it, it's the number nine. And I'll bet this last one up here is the number 10. Okay, count the dots with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number 10, and it's red. That one goes right there. Cookie Monster, how did we do? What was that? We did great. Yay, thank you for your help. Will you count the ladybugs with me one more time? Thanks. One, two, three, four, there's five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Hey, Abby, do you want to help us count to nine? What's that? Yes, okay, thanks. First, we need to find the number zero. Okay, it's round and it's red. Yes, there it is, the number zero. Okay, Abby, help us out, put it right there. Abby, will you help us find number one now? You will, thanks. Okay, it looks like number one is long and skinny and yellow. Where is number one? I think that's it. It looks more orange though. Okay, number one. What does number two look like? Let's see, this one is yellow and it has a round top and a flat bottom. Let's see here. I think that's it. We found it. Thank you, Abby. Goes right there. Okay, Abby, what does number three look like? Looks like number three has a round top and a round bottom. This one is green. Hmm, I think I see it. Yes, there it is. This is the number three. Thank you, Abby. Okay, Abby, what about number four? What does that look like? Well, this one is blue. It looks like it has a long nose and a bump at the bottom and a flat top. Okay, let's look. Oh, <laughs> look, it's right there. We found it right away. Okay, let's put it in there. Good job. Next, we need number five. Number five is right here. This one has a round bottom, a flat side, and a flat top. Help me find it. Okay, oh, yeah, that wasn't very far away. Okay, Abby, we'll put it in the spot. Number five. And what number's next? Right, the number six. And there we have a line on this left side and a big circle on the bottom. And this one is green. Where do you see number six? No, there, it's right there. Put the number six on, and now we need number seven. It looks like it has a long top and a long body, and this one is yellow. Oh, <laughs> look how close that was. It's right here. There's number seven. Ooh, number eight looks like fun. What is that? It looks like it's orange, and it has a circle at the top, and a circle at the bottom. Which one of these is the number eight? Right, this one. There we go. And now, let's look. I'll bet this number nine fits right there. Let's see, that one's red, and that one's red. And this has a circle at the top and then a line on the side. Yep, that's it. There we go. Okay. Let's count from the beginning and start together. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine. Thanks for helping us, Abby. Look at Sesame Street. They're gonna help us count whatever's hiding inside of Baby Shark and the Shark family. Who should we start with? Let's start with Big Bird. Okay, Big Bird, help us turn over Grandma Shark and see what's inside. Here we go. Wow, what's that? Okay, Grandma Shark, will you help us count all of these dinosaurs? Let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job, Big Bird. Let's put you in there. And you're all set to go to bed for the night. Who wants to count next? Elmo, do you want to count next? Great. Okay, let's turn your cup over. That's Baby Shark. And see what's underneath him. Oh, more dinosaurs. Okay, let's count them and put them back inside of Baby Shark. Elmo, count with us. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Okay, Elmo, you can go to bed now. It's time to go to sleep. Let's put you over here. Who wants to be next? Of course, Oscar the Grouch, you want to be next. You're green, just like Grandpa Shark. Okay, let's see what's hiding underneath Grandpa Shark. Oh, look at all those dinosaurs. Let's count them. Make sure you count with us. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job, Oscar. There you go. Now next, who wants to go next? Let's do Abby. Okay, Abby, is this your favorite color, pink? Let's turn over Mama Shark. Are they hiding there, the dinosaurs? Okay, Abby, help us count. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Four pterodactyls. Thanks for your help, Abby. Okay, last but not least is Cookie Monster. He is hiding whatever is inside Papa Shark. Let's turn him over and find out. Here we go. <gasps> More dinosaurs. All of these are blue. Okay. Help me. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's one hiding back here. Eight. Great job. Thanks for your help, Cookie Monster. Okay, is everyone ready to take a nap with the shark family and all your dinosaurs? Good. Good night. Elmo wants to go swimming. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? Well, of course, he's going to want to swim in the red one. Just like Elmo, he's red. But who's this? It's a new friend, Mr. Crab. If Elmo wants to swim in Mr. Crab's fish bowl, he needs to help him count to four. Those are all the bubbles on his, on his bowl. Here we go. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now Mr. Crab will let Elmo swim in his fish bowl. There he goes. <laughs> He's having fun in the pool. What about Oscar the Grouch? I think he wants to go swimming also. Which one of these fish bowls should he swim in? The green one, right. Let's count the bubbles on the fish bowl for the seahorse and maybe he'll let, let Oscar swim in his fish bowl. Here we go, let's count. One, two, two bubbles. And here goes the seahorse. And here goes Oscar the Grouch swimming. Good job, Oscar. What about Cookie Monster? Which one of these fish bowls should Cookie Monster swim in? Yes, the first one. Uh-oh, here's Mr. Shark. He's blue, just like Cookie Monster. And here's his bowl. If Cookie Monster wants to swim in the shark's bowl, he has to count the bubbles. Let's help him count. One, <laughs> that was easy. There was only one bubble. Here we go, there goes the shark. One, and here Cookie Monster can swim. Who's next? 
How about Abby? Abby has purple hair. Which one of these fish bowls should Abby swim in? Yes, the purple one. That's the octopus. And there's the fish bowl. But to get in the fish bowl, we have to help her count the bubbles. Here we go. One, two, three. Three bubbles. Now the octopus can go swimming, and so can Abby. Good job, Abby. And our last one, of course, is Big Bird. Which one of these should Big Bird swim in? Right here. This is our orange fish bowl. And here's our orange fish number five. To get number five fish back into his bowl, we need to count the bubbles. Help me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And here goes the fish. And here goes Big Bird. Let's look at the colors again. Say them with me. Blue, green, purple, red, orange. Now let's do it in Spanish. Azul, verde, morado, rojo, anaranjado. Good job. Will you count them with me now? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great job. The Sesame Street friends say they all want to go swimming together, not in separate fish bowls. So they need to go swimming in this giant bucket of popsicles. Here comes Big Bird jumping in. And now Elmo. And Abby. They're all swimming. And now Oscar the Grouch. And now Cookie Monster. It looks like they're having fun. But what is that on there? It looks like it's letters of the alphabet. Hey, maybe Sesame Street friends can help us put the alphabet together. That's a great idea. Why don't we start with Elmo? Elmo, will you help us find all of the red popsicles? Yes? Great. Let's put Elmo right there. And let's find all of the red popsicles. Here's one. That's the letter V. The letter R. The letter A. I think I see one more. The letter H. Okay, let's put those there. Who should we look at next? How about Big Bird? Big Bird is yellow, so let's find all of the yellow popsicles. Wait a minute, I don't see any yellow popsicles. What about orange? Big Bird's feet are orange. Okay, let's look for the orange popsicles. Here's one, that's the letter C. And here's another orange one, the letter F. Uh oh, Oscar's standing on one. Here's another one, the letter S. And here, the letter P. Okay, how about Abby? Let's look at your alphabet popsicles next. Okay, let's look for the purple and pink ones because Abby is purple and pink. Okay, there's the letter D and W. J, L, can you point to one if you see it and I might miss it? Y, O, do you see any other pink and purple popsicles? No, me neither. How about Oscar the Grouch? Hey Oscar, what's your favorite color? Green, right. Okay, Oscar, help me find all of the green popsicles. Here we go, that's the letter K, the letter T, and the letter Q. Did I get them all? Yep. Now it's Cookie Monster's turn. He's blue, so let's look for all of the blue letters. Here we go, the letter I, the letter M, the letter E, and the letter U. Look at all of these letters we have. Now 
we just have a few letters left over. These are brown. Let's pull them out and let's put our alphabet together. The letter X, the letter Z, the letter N, and the letter G. Wow, this is a lot of letters. Okay, we need to put them all in order now. Okay, which one do we start with? The letter A, right. It's right here. A. Let's move all of these down here and let's line them up. A. Do you see where B is? Hmm. I think that, oh, right here. B. E. And here's the letter C. Like Cookie Monster. E. Now we need the letter F. Hmm. Do you see it? Oh yes, right here. It's orange. F. And now the letter G. Here it's brown. G. H. I. J. It's over here and it's green. K. Let's put it underneath here. Which one of these homes should Elmo live in? Should he live in the red one, orange, green, blue, or purple? He should live in the red one, of course, because he's red too. Here's Elmo. Let's bring up his house and let's see what's inside. First, that's the number one. That's pretty easy to count, one dot. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. Hey, I don't think that's just one dinosaur. That's more than one. Let's count them together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, and five. We have five red dinosaurs. Well, this house only has one on it, so we should only put one dinosaur in. One. And now Elmo can go live there. Let's put him right there. Thanks, Elmo. What about Big Bird? Which home should Big Bird live in? Well, this house is orange, just like his feet, so he should live in this one. Let's bring it forward. Can you help me count the dots and see what number's on this house? Thanks. One, two. That's the house number two. It's orange, just like Big Bird's feet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, wow, it's more dinosaurs. But these look like way more than two dinosaurs. Why don't you help me count them? They're yellow and orange, just like Big Bird. One, two, let's get all the yellow ones first. Three, four, and five. Five yellow dinosaurs. Now how about the orange ones? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, five orange and five yellow. Together that makes 10, 10 dinosaurs. Well, we only need two for this house, so why don't we do one yellow dinosaur and one orange dinosaur? That equals two. Now Big Bird can live in his house. Good job, Big Bird. Which house should Oscar the Grouch live in? Do you think the green one, blue, or purple? But you're right, the green one, because Oscar is green also. Let's count the dots. One, two, three. This house has three dots. Let's open it up. Yep, there's more dinosaurs inside. That looks like a lot more than three. Help me count. Here we go. One, Two, three, four, five, and six. Six green dinosaurs. Wow, that's a lot. Well, we only need three to go in the house so that Oscar can live there. So let's count to three for the house. One, two, and three. Now Oscar can go live inside. Okay, there you go, Oscar. We're down to two more houses. I'll bet you know which one Cookie Monster wants to live in. 
The blue one, right, because it's blue just like Cookie Monster. Let's count the dots. Let's have Cookie Monster help with this one. One, two, three, four. This house is number four. I wonder how many dinosaurs are inside. Wow, a lot more than four. Okay, help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dinosaurs. But we only need four for this one, so help me count to four. One, two, three, and four. Now Cookie Monster can live in his house, his blue house. And last but not least is Abby. Her hair is purple, so the number five purple house will be hers. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five house. Open it up. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's very many dinosaurs. Abby can help us count. Okay, Abby, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we need one more to get to five. Here comes one more pterodactyl flying in. Now we have five. Help me count them to put them in the house. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job, Abby. Now everybody has their home. Let's look at those colors one more time. Purple, blue, green, orange, red. In Spanish, that's rojo, anaranjado, verde, azul, morado. Great job. Let's also count them now together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what that is in Spanish? Let's do it together. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. You're so smart.